Jonas Jackson here. Um, I'm just starting up a new YouTube channel. If you're not quite aware yet, I am actually uh, an adult actor, um, but I'm looking to make a YouTube channel for you guys. Uh, and in the series to come, I'm going to be um, showing you what I do to keep myself entertained, occupied and to keep working whilst at home. Um, so plenty of ideas. Uh, Let's jump into some questions and answers, which I've had from some of my followers on Instagram. Um, so let's get started. So <clears throat> my first question is, when did you start having so many plants? That's a great, great question. Uh, more recently, when I moved to London about a year ago, I started collecting indoor plants because I've got a nice space indoors and um, I just like being surrounded by so much like life really it really helps to filter the room um, and it also makes me sleep really well so it's nice to wake up to these some of these monsters like this one over here it's absolutely massive um, she's been growing from the beginning uh, a friend actually helped me carry that home on the tube um, so it's it's just really exciting really to grow so many plants um, but I actually started when I was a child uh, my parents encouraged me to grow plants indoors and I found I had a knack for reviving dead or dying plants, or what they appeared to be. So I hope that answers that question. Um, someone's also saying, how can I be a green thumb just like you? Well, I'd recommend personally is just buy a plant, get started. Start with something really simple. You don't have to do too much research. Just buy a plant that's not too expensive and just look after it look online there's plenty of tips that you can find for looking after plants but one rule is don't love your plant too much so that means don't overwater. you'll find the right regimen for your plant and it varies from place to place but don't have to follow the rules that are online for those so don't worry about that um uh, another question from a follower is are any of your plant pots for sale so if you're not aware already, um, I actually do pottery as well. Um, I got started in that about six months ago and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've amassed about 300 pots so far. I'll show you those in another video. Um, but I've got a few pots just over here that I've made um, and some more here and then some decorative pots as well for your plants. So yeah, they will be for sale shortly um, if anyone's interested they can comment below, but uh, we'll be setting up a website soon. Um, let's have a look. What is my favourite plant in the garden? Um, I don't really have a favourite plant in my house because they're all my favourites, which is why I have them. Um, but I have to say one of my favourite plants that are coming into bloom at the moment is outside, um, and that's a magnolia. I think they look very majestic, um, just beautiful blossoms and really nice looking trees. Some of you will call them shrubs, but in my, in my opinion, they are definitely really pretty trees. So <clears throat> uh, let's go on to some more questions. I've got quite a few here, so I'm having to skip out some. I'm trying to keep them as uh, YouTube friendly as possible. Um, so uh, let's have a look. It may take me a second. Uh, what do I do for work? Okay, so as I stated at the beginning, I'm a porn actor. I also have my fan sites, but that's only recommended for people above the age of 18. So please make sure that you are before you even attempt to subscribe to those. Um, what else? Um, I'm wanting to get more heavily into pottery. Uh, I also paint and I do drawing commissions as well. So, uh, and anyone that's interested in perhaps personal training or martial arts training, then you can contact me about that as well. But I'll go into that in more detail another time. Uh, let's have a look. God, there's so many good questions here. Um, with my pottery, which has been my most challenging piece to make so far, I have to say uh, this vase over in the background here, um, it took me two and a half days to coil build that. Um, but it was definitely worth the challenge uh, and it was a lot of excitement to see whether it would actually crack in the kiln when it was fired. Um, so you never know if it's actually going to come out intact or not or explode. So 
Luckily, it didn't explode. Uh, do I own any bonsai or cactus? I mean, I used to own bonsai. I grew up with um, a lot of trees around me, so the miniaturization of trees was always fascinating to me. And Japanese culture just kind of accentuated that, so um, I had bonsai, but I don't actually have any here in London, but I do have plenty of cacti and succulents because um, they are very easy to look after in my opinion. Not all for the, uh, not the same for all people, but kind of. Um, let's have a look. Someone's liking my alicoches. This is Brenda. She's um, a very big dribbly girl because she likes to exude moisture from the tips of her leaves when she's too wet. Um, but she's an Alicosia ventii, and um, she was pretty much one of my first plants when I moved to London, actually, and she's done wonders. She's a very virulent grower, so uh, as long as you keep her very wet, she's a very happy girl. So um, let's have a look at some more. Uh, what's your favourite pub in London? Well, at the moment, none. Uh, <laughs> I don't really drink, um, I very rarely drink, and if it is, it might be a glass of port or a whiskey. Makes me sound like an old man, but I don't care. I know what I like, so, uh, and I like to enjoy it sometimes with friends. Have you given a name to any of your plants? Well, I keep talking about Brenda, um, but yes, I do give names to my plants, but only the ones that have not only survived the longest but also thrived the most as well um, so this one's called Zami she's a ZZ plant um, and they're not very original names I must admit um, and then we've got um, Fat Bob because he's a fat seer japonica um, and he's going to grow massive with my care uh, and then there's a couple of others that have names but I'm not going to go into too much depth with those because we'll be here forever um, Someone's asking me what my daily routine is. Uh, are you into arts? Sorry, you are into arts, plants and fitness. How do you combine it with your business? Well, this is the thing. The job that I do actually gives me a lot of free time, which is nice. So I actually manage to um, make my hobbies more of a career. So obviously I'm selling my pottery, I'm selling my artwork. Um, and whilst I haven't got it completely at the point of being able to sell it easily, um, that will come with time, but um, it's something that I'm trying to integrate it, uh, into the overall experience. So, Are there too many bugs indoors attracted by the soil and the plants? No, not really. Uh, I mean, I used to get the occasional mealy bug, um, but I treat that with uh, isopropyl alcohol on a swab and I just try and keep their numbers managed. I did have a crazy idea of releasing uh, a few hundred ladybirds into my bedroom, um, but I don't think my housemates would appreciate that one too much, <laughs> especially if they wake up with a ladybird on their nose. I mean, whilst I think it's cute, they might not. When will I come to Paris? In all honesty, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of it, I must admit. <laughs> Um, but I don't know, if, if the price was right, I'm sure I would come. Okay, so this one's related to my post that I put on Instagram. I'm occasionally in my bedroom with my plants and I'm usually topless and usually shortless. Um, so, and they're asking boxes or briefs. I had to say briefs, it's much more comfortable and I think every gentleman should wear briefs, <laughs> especially if you have the figure for it. Um, how many plants do I have now? I last count 210. That was a few months ago. I've stopped counting since. <laughs> My friends thought it was mad, but now I'm reaping the benefits of having an indoor garden and I get to share it with you. So, okay, so uh, this is a bit of a random question, but do you have coffee with fans? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, if they're gonna take me out for coffee um, and they want to, Pay for the experience then of course yeah I quite happily go out for coffee with fans. Do you feed your plants apart from water? So far it's been winter so I haven't been feeding my plants at all. Um, I like to treat my indoor plants as they should be in the wild so I just 
wash them when they require it. Some of my plants like to stay moist, um, others don't quite like being so wet, so I let them dry out in between. Um, but generally speaking, my room is very warm. I mean, we're only in the beginning of spring here now, and my room is currently 27.8 degrees. <laughs> so I'm sweating a little bit doing this video, but it's worth it because my plants look great. Um, and they keep me happy, so I've got to keep them happy as well. So going back to the feeding though, now that it's hit spring, obviously your plants will be pushing through new growth. Um, I'm not going to feed mine straight away. I'm going to wait a couple of weeks because they'll have some stored energy. But then to support the new growth, then I'll start giving them a feed uh, on a regular basis just to get the best out of my plants. Um, I mean, most of my plants continue to flower regularly. My orchids are always flowering. Um, some of them don't have flowers on at the moment, but then they're already pushing through new spikes which will be supporting new flowers shortly as well, so I'm quite happy with that. They're doing quite well for me. Um, <clears throat> so that's that one. Let's go on to the next lot of questions. I'm skipping a lot of these. I will answer them on Instagram because some of them are a little bit too, I don't know, too erotic, shall we say. So I'm going to try and keep those off of YouTube. Uh, do you have any plants that you're favourite or proud of? Again, I don't really have... Uh, favourite plants, but I'm quite proud of all my plants, if you can say that. I really enjoy how their growth um, and they seem to have done really well with me. I mean, some of my alocosias have actually produced so many babies um, and they are massive. They are taking up a lot of room, so eventually I will be giving some to friends if they have the room for them, because they do grow big. So, how long have you been drawing for? I started drawing when I was a child. Um, I don't always draw that much, and I haven't drawn anything properly for about two to three years. And I've just started up again, and obviously having a lot more time recently, I'm starting to produce more pictures of things that I like. Um, usually it's of the male form, but I'm happy to draw other pictures, and I've done a couple of commission drawings already for some friends um, and other Instagram users, so it's going quite well so far, I'm quite happy actually. Uh, hello from Argentina, hello to you. I'm not related to your question, but your page is dope, thank you very much. Um, when did you discover just how adorable you are? Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I've discovered how adorable I am, but um, I appreciate the compliment in a question. Um, uh, do I have a regular job outside of my film work? The answer is no. <laughs> it, it's a really good job for me. Um, normally it enables me to travel uh, extensively. I get to meet really nice people. I just get to share really nice ideas about... Uh, I speak to so many people about plants, it's ridiculous. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, I like plants. Um, and I share that interest with others, but we also speak quite a length about different topics, which is nice. So it's nice to get people's different opinions. Where do I buy my under? Different places, everywhere. <laughs> but actually uh, sent some uh, underwear from places like Box Menswear, Andrew Christian, um, Marco Marco, uh, I don't want to leave anyone out, um, Sucru as well and uh, Red Hot as well, which is really good. I think they send it to me because I'm ginger, not that you can notice. But yeah, that's where I get my underwear from. Um, but I always prefer briefs. Sometimes I wear jocks, but briefs are my thing. Uh, do I twerk? You'll have to find out. <laughs> How do you keep all those plants alive? I have a dragon tree and I can't even keep that. I water them, I put them in the right place, and if they're not in the right place, I move them. But if a plant's happy, don't move it. Uh, don't be afraid to trim your plants, um, but if your plant isn't feeling very happy, don't feel obligated to feed it, because sometimes giving it those extra nitrates and other uh, minerals can actually damage your plant further, so we wanna try and avoid that. Wait until it starts pushing through some new growth by itself, and sounds weird, but listen to your plants. Uh, you don't have to talk to them, but they do definitely talk to you. 
best thing to do to keep yourself sane when you're at home. <laughs> okay, so if you're at home for extended periods of time, I'm going to cover this over some videos to come, but drawing, learning new skills, I'll show you where and how to do that. Um, do some painting, um, do some DIY that doesn't require you to have to get too many different things. Look at your house a little bit more creatively and the environment around you. Um, and I can guarantee that you won't be bored. So it's just about rewiring the brain, but um, I will cover that in another video. Uh, how long does it take to water all of my indoor plants and how often do I do it? Um, I don't do it all at once, um, but when I do do it, I water them nicely. <laughs> um, I don't know, it varies because if the temperatures changed indoors or outdoors, it just requires a different amount of watering. So it's really difficult to say, but what I will do is I will do a video of me watering the plants and looking after them. Where was I born? Okay, so uh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no. um, I was born in Edinburgh in Scotland, um, but I was raised in Hampshire. Hence why I don't have an accent, which is a shame, but no mind. So that's just life. Uh, okay, more, more plant questions. When the temperature drops and gets significantly colder, what do you do for your plants? I leave them where they are. My room kind of, the lowest my temperature in my room gets is 19 degrees. So it's not really an issue for me. Uh, light levels will drastically affect the growth of your plants. Don't worry if they slow down and also don't worry if your plants lose leaves. It's natural. Plants will do that. They will die back a little bit. Um, <clears throat> how old am I? should never ask a lady her age. Um, but I am 32. Uh, soon to be another year older, probably by the time you see this video I will be. Okay, so um, I think we've covered enough questions for today, but if you do want to ask any more questions, the comment section below and I will endeavour to answer either in the comments or I will post another video. Um, so let me know what you want to see next. I've got a couple of ideas for videos for you, um, but um, I'm always open to suggestions. I want to try and make this channel as interactive as possible. I want to engage with you guys and get your thoughts and feelings about different things. So feel free to comment, uh, like and subscribe. So and I'll see you in the next video, guys.